Okay, so let's say you got that load dropped off. Go down to this back side. And I made it through Dollar Tree last night, so I got a couple of things that I needed. What you were doing. Find a spot, find a spot, thank you. apartments 76 degrees today that means I'll be 10 degrees warmer in the Tampa area so it'll be like 86 today right now stuff around to do, but I made the floor plans of the units so I can make sure to match that. Benson's up like that, and if your car is under warranty, that they won't honor your warranty anymore because you modified it. Other than the fact it really jacks the computer up and will usually trash the transmission right off the top. I'll be a tire guy for years and years and years and learned the hard way at the car dealership when you had trade backs and stuff people would switch tires out on the cars and things. And I took a tire place and said, man, this thing's just terrible. And he looked down and he said, it's got the wrong tires on it. He said, first of all, the, the uh, um, speedo's not going to be correct because it should have been recalibrated. And two, it really jacks the transmission because it's computerized to what it's supposed to have on there. And uh, if it's under warranty, they're going to avoid it when you take it in and tell them you're having problems. I love those Cadillac SUVs, but let me tell you what. They have so much theft problem, it is beyond belief. Um, there was a lady that worked for the Cadillac factory and all that. And she finally bought herself a Cadillac, and it was constantly being stolen and broke into, and just endless. And she says the worst car she's ever purchased because the people can't keep their hands off of them. I know one thing with all the Cadillacs I've owned, and I love them because I had one save my life. But I will tell you that. Um, these newer ones have all these special systems to shut them down and everything and then if somebody tries to steal them and then what happens is you have to go pay the dealership like three hundred dollars to have the computer recalibrated because it's it's in theft mode so every time somebody jacks with a car if you're having terrible problems starting it and all that it's probably because it needs to be unlocked out of that theft mode and only a dealer level scanner can do it
wearing my face mask, but I got some more here. There's an open house right there. all your Texas friends that, that don't wear face masks and don't do social distancing for that. If somebody's telling you that something might help, it might be a good idea to try it to save your life and other people's. That's for sure. They've locked down in England now until December. So they've gone right back into it. Those are some great times to be doing a lot of YouTubing. You know, you have that idle time. You're there to entertain people. You know, when people can't work, they can't pay the bills. The cable TV is hard to come by. Usually they have internet service and they watch YouTube. And, uh, that's what I do. I don't pay for all the cable service. Are you kidding? I really don't have time to watch TV. I have so much to do. But, um, uh, I mean, YouTube is my TV, you know what I mean? I watch a lot of educational stuff. You can send me a PayPal donation so I can go buy a card for the history channels on YouTube so that I can see uh, um, Curse of Oak Island, the new editions of it. That's interesting. Those guys are getting ready to explore some other places too. Must have money, I gotta tell you all the stuff that they're doing. Adventures with Purpose on YouTube, the divers that go around diving in and pulling trash out of the water and uh, sometimes run across deceased people and stuff. Um, they do a lot of lives, so they get the tips and donations, lots of them, in a very short order. They have become famous. They're all over the news now, everywhere they go, on the last two expeditions that they did. Um, they're rolling around on tour right now, and just getting ready to go back home. And uh, they went all over the states, from, and they're based out of Oregon. And they went all the way, like, back east and worked their way across the states. Then got called back in a couple places, went back and did those again. And then headed the other way. And um, they then worked on that case up there in Colorado about that girl that disappeared. But uh, they've done really, really well. Um, they don't get paid for what they do. Unless there's a reward, if they, they never look for that first, they just try to help families get closure and, you know, recoup their loved ones and stuff, and solve mysteries, and, um, 
so their their lives really helped them a lot with the donations and stuff because their equipment's expensive and so people when they donate chips and stuff on the line then they can afford to buy and replace equipment and uh, as I think they've really found their place in life they really found a, a good meaning you know and that's really neat because you should really do what you love because the money will follow but uh, these guys are doing a great job at what they're doing and that, that AWP channel is just huge Jared, Sam Sam, the adventure man Dan Dan he's a young kid that's doing all the editing and his editing work is just unreal really fabulous fabulous work and he's like 18 or 19 he didn't get paid either you know and they just volunteer so uh, they've been gone like a month on tour all around and uh, they've had problems with law enforcement being rude to them and stuff and that bites but you know I've lived in the south for a bit too other than California and some other places and I will tell you some of that backwoods theory just is horrible and usually it's because they're covering up stuff they know about and people pay them to shut up you know my ex-husband was good at that he used to give cars to lawyers and judges and, 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 and uh, sheriffs and police chiefs and stuff to get them to do dirty work for him. And, uh, they just, I mean, money talks. It really does. You'd be surprised how the South is run. And it's, 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 it's like it's, um, archaic. It's like, in California, they would never get away with stuff like that. Um, but they do in the South. They cover stuff up, lose stuff, do illegal stuff. Hello. I'll be right with you. Whoa, blow my ear off. Ugh. Things full blast. How can I help you? Okay, first of all, it's entirely too loud. You're blowing my eardrums out over here. It's really loud. Um, let me get a, a $2 mocha frappe, and that will be all. Thank you. Perfect. Yes, so does 213. Perfect. Oh, man, my ear hurts terrible. Yikes. Oh, I feel like somebody just blew a Ugo horn in my ear. <sighs> Gotta go get milk. Gotta take feed the fish and the birds again soon. So I can get that fridge emptied out. Getting close. All right, let's see I can get a little closer there. There we go. Okay. And a receipt, please. You want the receipt? Yes, please. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah, that one case of a, a missing girl, I think it was in Iowa, Illinois, something. Uh, looks just like a girl my daughter used to hang out with. I mean, looks just like her.
was so tired. I think I'm sleeping probably four or five hours a night. Because I'm busy trying to get stuff to move. Sorting stuff out, sorted a bunch of stuff out yesterday. Thank you so much. Well, that's a good one. Okay, um, I like it frozen. Sometimes I'll throw you some junk that was sitting in the blender. And it's like chocolate milk. And it's like, dude, I'm not paying like kind of money for chocolate milk. I made a nice one today. It looks like pom poms in the back window. Fuck you. Yeah, I, uh. I'm trying to get most of the furniture out of the upstairs so that way I can see kind of where I'm at at this point and some of that stuff's got to be sold off anyway I really don't feel like putting it in storage so it'll be easier to sell it off if I buy something else next time but I don't have to have it. some of that replaceable type stuff you know it's like I can always get that or better next time and save money on the storage space. So, gotta get that stuff down. actually a very nice place to live. I mean, when you say Camarillo, you say the Lena being over there. But, it was a very, very nice place back then. And they had orchards out there, like oranges and stuff like that. Grapes and things for wine. And, uh, we had got a townhouse, we rented a townhouse. A real nice one. Garage, the whole thing. But I'm gonna tell you, I don't know how we put up with it then. Although I can't even stand it now. Now, I like my big, big, big house that I had out by Memphis. Uh, it was five story totally, but I mean, it was, I, I went to the different levels when I felt like it. I did not have to do it like every day. Like this townhouse, if you want to take a bath, you have to go upstairs. Uh, it's just. But I'd much rather have all one level place or a place that ha has everything on the main floor too accessible. That way you don't have to be going upstairs or carry stuff upstairs or carry it down. I'm gonna tell you, maybe it sucks in a, in a, in a townhouse. It really, it does. Um, 
it is horrible. Because you sit there and you contemplate, well, should I make all the top floors first? Should I kind of do a little bit of everything? Should I get the main floor skimmed out first? What should I do? You know, and it's just a living nightmare. But really the best thing to do is to empty the top decks out first. That way you don't have to keep going up and down. And then you load it on the stairs. So you back the box, you put it on a stair. Because if you carry a box up and down, up and down, up and down, you're going to go crazy. You just stack everything on the stairs. And as you go up and down, you move some every time you go up and down. And eventually, it will get to the bottom of the stairs. And you can still walk through there. You just load it on one side of the stairwell. So that way you can walk on the other side. You won't fall. But it's still a nightmare. I guess I'll go get this gold mirror thing. safely into the storage leave it by itself because that belongs to my daughter and I don't want to get it broken I've always wanted one myself all my life but this is hers and it was a special gift to her from Rusty and uh What my job is, I gotta babysit it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's cute. There's a couple bicycling, and they've got one of those little tent rolly things. And they put the baby in the back. That is too funny. The only thing is, I'd be scared going down the street with a baby in a little tent thing rolling behind my bicycle. I would be absolutely petrified. I don't think I would have the guts to do that. Okay. Let me go load this thing in. <laughs> 